He gave something from his heart, a dream of the future that gave hope. What characterized Gene Roddenberry was his vision, which of course was underpinning all of Star Trek. Every time I saw one, I thought to myself, damn, this is good. What he said to me, I'll never forget, was that in the 24th century, there will be no hunger and there will be no greed and all the children will know how to read. Star Trek is more than just a show, it's a philosophy. It said so many things to so many people about it's not always going to be this way, it will be better. That was your dad's gift. Live long and prosper, Miranda. I would say it's just as important today as it was back in the 60s when it first came out. It presents hope, and that's something we all need. Isn't that wonderful that I can say it in the present tense? Gene Roddenberry has a lot to say to us. You can ask, uh, how can a simple space opera reach out and touch the hearts and minds of, of literally millions of people? The whole show was an attempt to say that humanity will reach maturity and wisdom on the day that it begins not just to tolerate, but to take a special delight in differences in ideas and differences in life forms. What Star Trek proves is that the much maligned common man and common woman has an enormous hunger for brotherhood. They are ready for the 23rd century now, and they are light years ahead of their petty governments and their visionless leaders. I find it interesting, you know, for sons to try to explore what their fathers have done. It's a quest someday I hope my own son goes on. <laughs>